Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sam Cart Takeover. This is the Tuesday series where we get together and look at awesome creators online and talk about how can they expand their business, how can they get more revenue, how can they grow their e-commerce, essentially, which is what we do here at Sam Cart. My name is Scott Moran. I'm the co-founder here, and with me, as always, is Jordan P. Anderson, our yep. video production extraordinaire. Jordan, what's up? What's up, man? I love this series. Like we are growing by the week. I feel like these series are getting bigger and bigger. The creators are getting bigger or more interesting. Uh, I love it. What's it up? It is my very, very favorite thing. And one of my favorite things is hunting for the next person. And today's creator is somebody who, within minutes of watching his stuff, and I'm going to encourage absolutely everybody watching this to go check out his stuff. You're going to absolutely fall in love. Very different vibe, very different personality, very different game plan than a lot of the other creators that we've talked about here. Uh, somebody who, uh, J well, Jordan, introduce this person. You you found yeah. this person. You scouted this out. You introduced me, and, and I've been binging ever since. But let's go go ahead and check us out. Uh, let, break it down. Who is today's Sam Cart Takeover? Yeah, our guest today is Heinz Seitz. So I found Heinz on TikTok, actually. And then, you know, you go through the rabbit hole, and you're like, oh, wow, he's got great TikToks. He's like, he's super, like, this guy is a meditation master, Zen master, just like, it's all, he's playing reggae, he's drinking tea. It's like, it's the most chillest TikTok. And then you go to his YouTube channel and it's even more chill. And the video production, it's like, I can't say enough. Like watching this guy, you feel better. Doing the research on this guy was like every video we were watching to learn more and more about this guy. We're just getting <laughs> chiller and chiller and chiller. It was <laughs> super fun. Honestly, I really enjoyed this. One of the things that I enjoy so much is I really, really love when creators like talk or when they walk the walk rather you know what i mean like mm -hmm. here is somebody who again if you guys go check him out you can go check him out it's heinz h-i-n-d-z go check him out on youtube he's got a big podcast or it's a tiktok as well right mm -hmm. uh, but here's somebody who who i really truly think that his values and what he claims to be is so unbelievably in line with how he's chosen to run his business how he's chosen to do these kind of things and, uh, you know, Jordan, you used a word that I think sums this up perfectly. You had kind of a one word thing to describe this guy. Yeah, I was what everything we were watching, even like his sponsors and all the things like he was going through, at, like we're like analyzing his business. The one word that came to mind was uncompromised. This guy Heck yeah. lives his values like every single moment of his video. It's he's just uncompromised. I don't know how else to put it. I love it. So what we're going to do is we're going to break into Heinz business. We're going to kind of break down, OK, where is his revenue coming from? You know, where could he be growing? Where could he be doing more? Because I think there is probably the biggest single source of creator revenue is something that he's not currently doing right now. But we're also going to talk about this from the bend of here is someone who needs everything to align on his values, right? So it's not just about, and we'll, we'll even get into something that Heinz himself said, it's not just about more money, okay? We want to break into how can we provide creative control? How can we help Heinz grow his audience? How can we help him reach more people? and make a bigger impact, and that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. So, Jordan, walk us through walk us through uh, the table of contents. For this yeah, here's a, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we'll, we're going to give you the overview of who Heinz is. Uh, his main thing is his podcast and uh, all the content that sprouts from that. Uh, we're going to talk about how he's currently making money. But, yeah, like you were saying, like this is going to be a little bit of a different video. We're not talking about how to make – how he can make $5 million next year. This is just – this is going to be like how he can just keep creating tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. Um, and we've got some products that we think he might like for his meditation suite, uh, books, journals, videos, podcasts, and then we're going to finish up with some takeaways focusing on the creation process and align values. So let's I love it. Let's do it. Let's dive in. Okay. So let's, so like we said, his main thing is his podcast. He does a video podcast and you go to his website, Heinz.site, which is perfect. It's, you know, everything. So cool, by the way. Yeah. Heinz, yeah. H-I-N-D-Z dot S-I-T-E, Heinz.site. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Well, let's take a second and just talk about this. This is literally this guy's website. Look how simple this is. You know, some of the most popular videos that we've ever put out there are some people talking about how they deleted their website, how they deleted their blog, got rid of everything, right? and thrived because of it. And I cannot think of a cooler example than this, right? Hans has literally said, my entire website is just a link tree back to my different creative outlets, back to YouTube, back to Spotify, back to op Apple, uh, you know, podcast type stuff. And I just, I love how simple this is. I love that there's, there's just nothing here. You know what I mean? It's like, he's saying, listen, I'm going to tell you where to go, right? And he's basically punting on having a web page. Yeah, so we, we looked at this and we said, okay, he's, he's, shuffling he's shuffling everybody to all different social media so if you're on youtube and you click on his website he's going to say hey go check out my spotify go check out my tiktok like he just wants you in the community 
uh, kind of following his journey. But then we also noticed that bottom button right there, buy me a cup of tea. Yep. And so that's like, that's what we noticed first. Like that's where he's making his money. So his, if you click on that, it takes him to Ko-Fi, uh, which is just sort of like a donation site. It's a uh, yeah, you know, tip jar, right? I think that this yeah. is getting more and more popular. We see a lot of creators doing this. Hey, if you want to toss me a couple bucks, come toss me a couple bucks. And in Heinz's world, you know what I mean? Like buy me a cup of tea is like, again, we talk about everything is sort of aligned. You know what I mean? It's very on brand. That if you go watch this, most of Heinz's videos start by pouring a hot cup of tea, which by the way, we should have cups of tea. We should have been drinking. I know, yeah. <laughs> it's sort of uh, as, a, as a tip of the hat here. Um, but you know what I mean? It's it's very on brand. It's very in line. You know what I mean? But you can see, you know, he's had hundreds of people come in here and tip him five bucks or more, right? Um, and so, you know, this is, this is great, you know what I mean, as a source of just letting your people kind of dive in. You know, we always talk about successful creators, let their audience dive in, right? Let them get closer, let them, uh, you know, take a step sort of in their direction. And something like this is a great way for Heinz to do that and to earn a little bit in the process, you know what I mean? Um, and again, we'll talk about how Heinz approaches money in his own words here in just a second. Uh, but it should be said that, you know, tip jars and stuff like this are a cool outlet, but man, they are not where creators make their money, right? I want everyone to know that, anybody watching at home, you know what I mean? Creators are not, like, this is not how you can afford to keep the lights on. You know what I mean? These are nice things to have, but we're going to talk about something that I think Heinz could be doing a little bit different that could still let his audience get close to him, right? That could still serve more people and serve them deeper, Right, but uh, could you know also provide more fuel to keep growing? What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the donations here, it's kind of like maybe the transaction relationship. Like when you buy something from a from a uh, creator, like the relationship changes a little bit. You but they you become a customer. You don't just become an audience member. So right. maybe his idea with the donation is like, hey, you give me money, I am not going to give you anything in return except just me being awesome and making great stuff. So there's not like this. Maybe I don't, which I'm is like, awesome. And I love yeah. that. I, that's one of my favorite things about Heinz as a guy. When I say that he walks the walk, you know what I mean? Like there are a lot of people that do what he says, you know what I mean? I'm not beholden to anybody. I'm not whatever, but like it, it, the only way that you can pay this guy any money whatsoever is just a tip jar where there is, you know, it, it's understood that there's nothing in return. There's no quid pro quo, you know, mm -hmm. quid pro quo. There's no, I'm going to give Heinz money and maybe I'll be able to get into his Twitter DMs and we can chat. You know what I mean? Like, I just, mm -hmm. I love that it's just like, listen, buy me a cup of tea. Like, that's it. That's it. Uh, so the other way he's actually making money is through the sponsorship. So we found a couple sponsors that he's already working with. He's got, uh, he's on TikTok radio, on Series XM. He has Audible. Uh, and then even he'll do ad reads in the middle of his YouTube videos, like with companies like Squarespace, Seed.com. Um, and that's just, so he just kind of, he's weaving in that content, you know, he'll do his videos are 12 to 15 minutes and, you know, three minutes in six minutes in nine minutes in whatever it may be. He does a quick ad read. This video is sponsored by name of company and he does the whole ad read, like very typical, what a lot of creators do. Um, uh, but this, I think the problem with this, and we'll talk about it as we get further along that you don't have full control over this or you're kind of. You're still it almost still feels like employee employer relationship Absolutely. with these with yeah. these big yep. brands like you don't have yep. full control of your brand. And remember, Jordan, we talked about last week and maybe we can try to link to last week's, you know, same card takeover here at some point. But we talked about how sponsorships a lot of people, you know, start, you know, you start growing an audience, something like that, and you view sponsorships as like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Right. But truly what we've been finding and again, most of these things are under NDAs. But just doing your own research and kind of looking around, you know what I mean? What you find is that sponsorship deals are often heavily favored in the direction of the sponsor. You know what I mean? In terms of the the monetary output, right? Like what someone's going to go ahead and make from those is it normally many, many, many times less than we would think, right? And so it's also, you are beholden to somebody else. And I think Heinz clearly has made a, a point of only working with brands that he really aligns with, that really, you know, he shares his values. But yeah, you're not, you're giving up control and realistically, you know, uh, creators that are, are crushing, and we'll talk about what some of Sam Cart's, you know, seven and even eight figure brands are doing. Um, but, you know, sponsorship deals are this really tiny little sliver of their total pie. You know what I mean? That their their revenue is not coming from sponsorship deals. There is a much, much bigger opportunity out there. And we'll, again, we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit, how to capitalize on more of that while keeping 100% of the creative control. And uh, again, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Sweet. So let's get to this kind of main topic. Like, like we said, this is a little bit different. Like we're not trying to make a million dollars. We're not trying to make, right. uh, you know, we're not trying to optimize this conversion page. Like this is all, 
all that we want to focus on is this right here, prolonging the creator's journey. So this is a quote from him. He tweeted this out uh, September 2nd, 2021. Uh, I like working with people who are more spirit driven than financially driven. The finances and resources will flow abundantly regardless of because, uh, because we work hard, but we don't serve money. We serve the most high. The money is just a tool and resource to grow, not the goal. I'll read that last line. The money is just a tool and resource to grow, not the goal. So this says it all. Like this is this is creator philosophy. This is I'm not in it from the money. I'm in it for a good time, so to speak. But like <laughs> I, I love it so much. Like that, like it's just a tool. It's just a way to keep doing what you want to do. I want to keep creating videos. He he clearly loves making videos. He loves doing these meditations. He loves just sitting in front of the camera, having a conversation with his Heck yeah. you know, millions of people out there. And it's it's awesome. And you know so, what's funny, man? Yeah. A lot of people say this, but I believe this guy. Like, I'm telling you right mm -hmm. now, anybody who goes, you go and watch his stuff, you go check him out. You know what I mean? I, I genuinely believe him. And I have a, oh, a yeah. very, like, you know what I mean? My bullshit meter is on high alert most times just in general. You know what I mean? Like, that's just kind of who I am as a person. But man, I really do believe Heinz. And I think this is one of the coolest things. If more people approach what they're doing this way, you know what I mean? I, I think you'd see... I don't know, you'd see a lot of more good uh, out there, essentially, you know so, what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, so we want to, the recommendations that we're about to make, I think are recommendations that will grow Heinz' bottom line. And I think potentially could grow it dramatically, all right? But let's frame it back in that, okay, like this is not someone whose stated goal is, I wanna be a millionaire, you know what I mean? Like, that's a good goal. Like, that's there's nothing wrong with that when you're creating a business, it means you help a lot of people. But with Heinz, I wanna, let's make some recommendations that I think could provide more fuel for what he's doing. You know what I mean? When you work hard, that resource comes back to you and, and it allows you to put resources back into growing and serving more and doing these kinds of things. You know what I mean? And that's really what we want to help Heinz do. And so that's what we mean by let's prolong the creator's journey, right? Let's give Heinz more fuel, more control so that he can continue to do what he's doing indefinitely. Uh, and Jordan, you made this little graph to kind of help us out, right? Let's talk yeah. about what we yeah. call <laughs> the sustainable creator's journey, right? There's the creator's journey and then there's this sustainable one for someone who wants to stick around for the long haul. And they are distinctly different. Jordan, yeah. tell us why. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone get your screenshot out. So take a picture of this. Uh, yeah, so the first step is in the sustainable creator's journey is to obviously create, create your content, create your, your work, your art, your videos, your podcast, whatever it is you do. And then you go to the distribution stage. You're sharing it on social media. You're sharing it with your newsletter, however it may be. Uh, and then you're trying to figure out how to monetize this because monetize, you know, making some money is going to help you support yourself, keep it going. Uh, and then after you've done all that, you try to optimize it, whether you're optimizing your sales page, optimizing your content batching. Uh, and then a crucial step, the last step is to rest, just calm, let it just take a breather, you know, recoup, go back to the well, uh, and then you start the process all over again. And that's, that's what a lot of people want to do. They just want to keep this cycle going. And the, the game is like how, how to keep this going forever. That's, that's the true yep. game. So. I love it. Uh, yeah. And you know what? And coming back to that rest point, it's just, again, I get on my soapbox for two seconds, right? The creators that I see sustain growth, you know what I mean? Sustain success and do those kind of things. This is what it looks like. You know what I mean? And that rest portion is really, really important. And I get the sense that, I mean, really, it's very on brand for Heinz. I'm sure that this is a guy who who yeah. very much does that daily, you know, almost, almost maybe multiple times a day. You know what I mean? As someone who is always encouraging people to take a second and be grateful, right? He, one of the first videos I watched, he opened up and, and the first thing he said is you said, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. And he grabbed his tea, just took this big breath. You know what I mean? It's just this incredible yep. breath of fresh air to, to watch this guy and engage. And so anyway, I, I think this is something that, that would be very central to Heinz and kind of who he is and, and his process, you know what I mean? And, and how can, I would encourage everyone to adopt what we're saying here and take it very seriously uh, because it, it is the, it is labeled the sustainable journey for a reason, right? This is how you yep. keep it going, not just flash in the pan and then, you know, you're constantly struggling to to figure out how to keep it going. Yeah, no no one part of this you can remove. Like every single step in this is crucial. And uh, and to kind of drive this point home, uh, another great creator is Van Nyset. So he did a video, his channel is The Spirited Man. He's Casey Nyset's brother. Um, one of his videos, oh, I actually was going to ask you if it was Kate, like if he was related yeah. to Casey or not, that's funny. Okay, cool. I didn't know. Yeah, it's Casey's brother. Uh, that's so awesome. he, one of the videos he has is called my friend is nominated for an effing Oscar, uh, talking about like winning the Academy award, winning the Oscar. It's not about the trophy. It's not about the accolades. It's about 
uh, this permission, like you now have the permission to continue to do your work, to to build your craft, to work on your craft, to produce your art forever. And the reward for good work is more work. So like this is what we're trying to frame it today. Like it's not about the money. It's about how do I keep this going? How do I make a thousand videos over the next 10 years? Like that's what it, that's what it's all about. It's not how do I make a thousand dollars a day? How do I make a thousand videos forever? Like just keep keep the train rolling. Exactly. And so we're going to talk about how to do that using, and again, like drum roll, right? The big reveal, of course, that I'm sure everybody could guess is coming. We're going to talk about how to do that by creating products. Okay. So if you want to work and do what you're doing and you love what you're doing, you want to do it for the next decade. Okay. Then this is the easiest button to press for having resources to make that happen, for keeping complete creative control and never giving away your brand to somebody else. Right. We're going to talk about productizing what you're doing. Okay, so this is what this might mean for Heinz, okay? This is the kind of stuff that we see Sam Cart creators all over the place creating that powers their creator journey, that extends their creator journey, right? And again, these are, we are not, like I am, if I was trying to try and get in front of a camera and talk about what Heinz talks about and talk about self-love and talk about gratitude and and be that person, it would be the least authentic <laughs> thing. I really, I love those as as things, but I'm not the talk about it guy. You know what I mean? That's not my thing. So forgive me if any of this feels a little bit off, but just trying to think of, okay, if I was Heinz, what sort of products would I co-create, right? I would absolutely go create an ebook right away, right? Something quick hitting and easy and specific, right? We, we made one that we just called five days to self-love. I would imagine, you know, uh, an ebook that's sort of like, Someone who's down in the dumps and they want to jumpstart, you know, their their gratitude, their their self worth, their you know empathy for other people, things like that. Right? Go write a quick hitting ebook, and it would I'm sure that thing would sell like crazy. I bet if Heinz replaced his five dollar tip jar with this ebook as a pay what you want offer on Sam Cart, which where customers can you know pay five or pay more, right? It would it would immediately triple the number of people who are paying for that. You know, instead of buy me a cup of tea, it's buy this, right? You're deepening the relationship. You're serving more people, and that can go on indefinitely. Um, yeah, I would yeah, also uh, sell a video yeah, series. So Scott, top, uh, Scott I was oh, going to say an ebook like that would deepen the relationship with your customers. Like Big time. you can you can watch the free videos, but this is one step to go that much deeper with me to like form a better connection. Absolutely, and it doesn't need to be like a you know. I would imagine for Heinz, it would be very important that people don't feel like they have to pay money to feel better. You know what I mean? Like. And I think I think Heinz with his brand, I think it would be super important for him to be able to say, listen, all this free stuff is free. You know what I mean? But if you're if you want to go deeper with me, right? If you want to to take me with you when we, you hang up, you know, you you put your phone down and get off YouTube, right? Like that, right? Then I've got some resources for you. Go check them out, right? I think I think the how you frame those would be very very important, and I think you can absolutely make that happen within the framework of sort of like who Heinz is and his values. You know what I mean? Um, I also think uh, some video stories, right? Some video series would do really, really well. Um, other people might call this like a course. I don't think a course would be the right thing for Heinz. You know what I mean? Like uh, I, it, maybe it's on brand. Yeah, maybe. maybe that's something there. But I think what would be so powerful is for someone like him, who is clearly, Jordan, an incredible storyteller, an incredible yeah. visual artist. You know what I mean? You go watch his stuff. is unbelievable. I think for him to make some stories about people who... You know, I'm sure he's probably got people every day in the comment sections of his videos. You know what I mean? They're like, oh man, this really did this, or this really did that. Go find some of those people and tell their stories visually, get them on camera, right? And being able to productize that and share those. Because I think, you know, if I had something that was 10 other people's stories about how they were, you know, down in the dumps, they experienced something crazy, but they, you know, they lifted themselves up, would be incredibly valuable and something that absolutely you could productize, right? And use as resources to fuel other projects and other growth. And the last one be digital downloads, right? Sell the podcast anthology. Hey, if people want to take them, take Heinz with them when they work out or when they're on a run or they're on a road trip or something like that, right? Um, then, you know, let people download it onto their phone and have all, every podcast episode there is as an audio book or something um, and, and give a chance for people to really dive in and go deep there. That'd be sweet. And uh, we have one example here. Like, the, like we're not just pulling this out of thin air. Like the formula is there. The br The blueprint has been written. Uh, and we've got a great seller here, like Yoga with Adrian. She does this exact same thing. Absolutely. Everybody should go check out Yoga with Adrian on YouTube as well. Go subscribe to her. Go subscribe to Heinz. Um, Adrian is awesome. She is so wonderfully authentic and, and you know, to herself. You just, again, you watch one of her videos and within moments, you just feel like this person is exactly who they say they are, right? 
Um, and uh, no, it's a very similar vibe. It's a very similar kind of brand, but you can see how successfully uh, Adrian was able to, and, and her, you know, her team there, uh, was able to productize what they do, right? And in that way, provide resources that keep her in complete creative control. You know what I mean? They, they, they extend the life shell, the, the life cycle of your business, right? And again, you know, we, we keep kind of like using roundabout terms of way of saying that products have made Adrian a lot of money, right? They've given her then the freedom to continue to create what she loves to, to stay in control and not have to give, you know, control away to somebody else. She doesn't have to reinvent the wheel. She's not, you know, running around around with her hair on fire, trying to think, okay, how do I keep the lights on here? You know what I mean? But productizing what you have, uh, Yoga with Adrian is a great blueprint to go follow. Definitely recommend go checking around for awesome YouTube stuff, but then also to see how an awesome creator is using products to drive growth, con contain, co or I'm sorry, maintain control and creative control over what she's doing. And I think it's just a very similar vibe to Heinz. You know, they're, they're different people, of course. You know what I mean? That's, I've, I don't think I've ever seen Yoga with Adrian do the, the tea thing, you know, whatever, but very similar vibes, very uh, just, I don't know, two awesome creators doing awesome things. Go check out Yoga with Adrian to see how mm -hmm. products can really help boost any creator business well, yeah scott this is what we talked about or this is what i mean when i say uncompromised like if you own yeah. your own products if you own your own you know channels of distribution and like hey this is my ebook i put my heart and soul into this i know what this is all about like this everything i'm putting out aligns with my values and i'm not having to compromise on anything i'm not having to take any shortcuts i'm not having to appease some marketing manager at some other large mega brand like i'm here for me and i'm here for you that's it i love that yeah, so 100%. we got some. So we got some products. Let's hop over to Samcart to yes, see. Sir. Yeah, let's show. Let's show Heinz how easy this is uh, to build something like this. Exactly. So yeah, I mean, it's it's all well and good to talk about all this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? But Jordan, go ahead and bring up my screen and let's just build some of this in Samcart. We kind of built some of this stuff already, but from a Samcart dashboard, let me show you if we were going to go create that uh, that ebook that Heinz is going to sell. Right, the the pay what you want five dollar thing to replace his tip jar. Right. All you got to do is come up to products inside of Sam card. And actually, this product is already made, but I'll show you how I made it. You go in, create, uh, create a new product, and I would just call this, you know, five steps to self love ebook. Uh, give it a description. And then right here in this drop down, that's a little tough to see because I don't think I even share the drop down. But basically, you can make something a one time payment. You can make something uh, uh, recurring as just like a subscription, a monthly, yearly subscription. Mm -hmm. You can make it a limited subscription, which is to say like three payments of blank. And then the one I really like is called pay what you want. And that's what I'll recommend for Heinz, right? Is that we're going to replace that $5 buy me a tea tip jar with a $5 pay what you want offer for this book. Okay. Where people are going to dive in. They're going to get more of, of him and, and who he is and, and just check out more about his brand. Uh, but let me go ahead. I actually already made this. So let me Perfect. open up this. And then, uh, yeah, once the product is made, you can come over to the checkout design tab. Okay. And the checkout design tab is where you design what your sales page is going to look like. And you can use a bunch of these uh, kind of blank slate templates. There's, there's nothing there. Or you can scroll down and Sam card has a whole bunch of awesome pre-written pre-designed templates, right? So if I just, uh, let me, none of these are really that great for Heinz, but let me go ahead. I'm just going to open up uh, this one right here. I'll just preview this one just to get a sense of what's here, right? So you guys can see there's pre-written, pre-designed sales pages like this one where all of you guys have to do is just upload your own images, add your own text, uh, you know, just replace the stuff that's here with stuff about whatever it is that you're selling. Um, so let me go ahead. I'm actually going to close this and uh, we'll just operate off one of the blank slates because yeah, I don't do think it. any of these are, honestly, yeah. what we're doing here is so simple, okay, mm -hmm. that I think Heinz could sell this with like an image and some bullet points, okay? So over yeah, here for, is our canvas. Yeah, I'm for $5, yeah, for sure. Oh, for five bucks, you don't need much at all. Exactly. So I'm just going to go ahead. Let me drop in an image and then I'm going to click on that image. And uh, we actually already have sort of like the, the image of the book uploaded here, right? So I'm just going to choose that or you could upload something from your computer. Sweet. Um, that's a little big. So let me adjust the image width. I'll take it down to like, let me take it down to like 425. That looks good to me. I like that. And then I'll go ahead, go to settings. Let me just remove like some padding, right? We don't need, it's kind of, the image is already, uh, is already padded itself. And then, yeah, I'm not kidding. I, we'll just put some bullet points down below and this is literally going to be it, right? So uh, let me, let's do some quick styling. So I'm going to make the text a little bit bigger here. We'll make it like 22. Uh, we'll make the, uh, to get rid of the padding again here. Uh, let's do column width. I'm going to take the column width down to like 60. 
And then, uh, yeah, nice. I actually have, let me see here. I have a quick bullet point that we already had written. Yeah, we wrote that I'll just bring on over here. Wrote some um, sales copy, yeah. so we'd have to do it on the fly. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So, you know, you could just add in your own bullets. So I'd say, you know, guided meditations to lift yourself up every single day. Um, you know, uh, lessons for self-love that will, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't even know what to say, encourage you uh, in any circumstance. And again, I, I'm really not this guy, you know what I mean? Like, so forgive me if this, uh, if it seems a little a little cringeworthy to hear me say these kind of things out loud. I'm sure coming out of Heinz's mouth, it would sound awesome and everybody would feel super encouraged by it. Um, I'll make the bullets a little bigger and like, you know, that's kind of it. I mean, you know, we could, mm -hmm. again, let me just for- And then like the, the, the workflow to this is someone that buys a book can then go on his list. So on his email list, he's sending out a daily meditation. He's sending out the podcast. He's letting people know about new videos. Like that. Like this is just one more way to like bring people into his community uh, and not have them just kind of get lost or have them just be on social media. Like this is, hey, you're in the inner circle. You're here with me, Heinz, and uh, and let's make this the best thing ever. Absolutely, yeah. And then I could even do like a background image, Jordan. What do you think here? We'll do like a quick stock image. Let me just pull yeah, up. Sure. He's, do that well, monstera right there. That, that's his thing. The what? The monstera. Yeah. Or like the uh, the big leaf. Uh, type in. Uh, it's like monster a. That's the that's the the plant. There it is. Nice. That's How about. Uh, want to do this one? Sure. Let's do it. Okay. Gotta, here we go. Get, All right. So this is a bunch of free brand. stock images. Yeah, a bunch of free <laughs> stock images that you guys can use on any page that you create with Sam Cart. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead. Let me. Uh, I'll add a background color. We'll kind of make it like a little gray there, just a little light gray. And then what we can do is I can uh, bump up the opacity, right? So we're going to make the image a little bit more uh, background, just sort of like faded into the back a little bit, right? Sweet. Um, but there you go. You know, you have this one page right here. Uh, you can link to this from his link tree. And then, you know, what you get down here is you get some opportunities for customers to buy some of this other stuff that we talked about, right? And so uh, let me go ahead. I'm actually going to scroll back up to the top. Uh, in Sam Car, you can have stuff that looks great on mobile or on desktop. You just toggle and, you know, whatever you want to do. If you want this to be bigger on mobile, you can make that happen, right? If you want uh, a headline to be smaller or something like that, it's mm -hmm. super, super simple. I'm going to go ahead and click publish. And then what we have is I'm actually going to, Jordan, I'm going to stop sharing this one and bring right. up uh, an incognito browser because we can actually do a test order. So let's do it. Yeah, I want to actually showcase what this actually would look like for uh, for customers to come in here and buy. So you can come here and uh, with this orange banner up here is Sam Cart's test mode. And so I'll just come down and uh, let me just put in some dummy data here. So I'll say Scott plus Heinz uh, at samcart.com. Yeah, the awesome um, part about this, like we're always telling our customers, like you can build a business in a weekend, like you can launch oh, your product. Yeah. Like you come up with the idea on on Saturday, you build your page on Sunday, you're launched by Monday morning. It's this great. takes absolutely no time whatsoever. So again, this is a name your price product. So if I try to put in three dollars, it's not going to work. But if I put in seven dollars, it'll work, right? So we'll say let's just say someone comes in here and pays ten, and then I'm going to put in uh, some dummy credit card data for the it's the our Sam Cart's test mode has like any you know whatever. Anyway, and then uh, down here is where, yeah, you could have a chance to to show some order bumps and let customers buy some other stuff. Uh, we even talked about like, you know, maybe he goes and makes like an affirmation journal and uses a drop shipping site to, yep. you know, to to check this kind of stuff out. I'll go ahead and let me just, uh, I'll say, give me the podcast anthology and the, and the stories of self-love. But once your customers decide what they're going to place in their order, they go ahead and click uh, place order now. And then Sam Cart is going to dump you right into a digital download area, right? We call it the Sam Cart Courses app. So I'll just go ahead and choose uh, my password. And then it's going to dump you right into this. Uh, again, it's called the Sam Cart Courses app. It's a beautiful place, password protected, just for your customers mm. to come in and download stuff, watch videos, uh, get digital downloads, download eBooks, things like that. So if I actually come in here, uh, here's five days to self-love. You could, uh, you know, have the 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 lesson down here where you download your ebook and then you can actually hear right these boxes that we see right here are called course cross sales and this is where you get another chance for your customers to buy stuff using their credit card on file right so if someone wants to they could come in here later and say cool i want uh, an affirmations journal they click on this box uh there is a, a link sent to your inbox basically where you you confirm your credit card on file um and let me actually, I'll just go ahead and get that really quick. So where is, let me grab that 
I'm opening up my inbox Sweet. really quick. Yeah. But I grab a six digit code for my inbox. I come back over to Sam Cart and your customers. Uh, nope, that's not it. <laughs> that's the one I want. There cool. we go. Six digit code. I click submit and you can see your customers can buy other stuff using their credit card or PayPal account on file. Boom. Right. So your customers get a chance to just go deeper with your brand, right? Every step of the way, you have a chance to give your customers a chance to say, cool, I want to add this to my order. I want to add this to my order. I want to do this. Uh, you know what I mean? And, and and in the in the case of Heinz, this is a chance where you get not only to create really simple experiences where your customers can dive in and grab more of your stuff, but you also give them a chance to to keep diving in. You know what I mean? To create little mini shopping sprees uh, that that where someone is going to be able to spend two, three, four, five times more money with your brand and provide those back to you as resources to keep growing. Right? That's the whole idea. We're prolonging that creator's journey, and there is no better control than this when you're productizing your own stuff. You get a chance to decide what is created. You get a chance to decide, you know, what stories you tell and, and what the prices are and what you charge for things. And all of that is under 100% under your control. Sweet, dude. Dude, let's wrap this up. I feel like uh, I want to start first with the wrap up is, like we said earlier, continuing the creator's journey. Sometimes it's not about making a million dollars, making $10 million. Sometimes it's just about I love making videos. I love making podcasts. I want to keep doing this forever. And I want to engage with my community. I want to engage with my audience. How do I keep doing this forever? And that's what it takes. Like we have that that five steps, the, you know, create, distribute, monetize, optimize, and rest. And rest. then start the, start the whole process over. You know, rest and reflect is, I feel like that's like a very Heinz thing to do. Just take, take a moment to reflect on what, where your life is and where your creator process is. Uh, Scott, take the next one. Align with your right. values. Align with your values. And, you know, this, I think, is is one of those things. The world would be at a better place, a better place if more creators took this as seriously, I think, as Heinz does. You know what I mean? Uh, because you are productizing your own stuff, you are in complete control, okay? It, it, anything and everything you create, every price you choose, every book you write, every video you record, everything is completely within your control. And so you know there is no better way to make sure that your business is always going to align with your personal values, with your beliefs and who you are, because you are not dependent on a sponsor, right? You are not uh, giving away creative control to an agency or something that's, that's, you know, pumping you out there for you, right? Uh, this is you taking control of your own growth. This is you taking control of your own brand in a way that you will never have to give it back, right? That you never have to, uh, you know, hand it back or, 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 or give it up in some way right? This is sustainable long-term growth that can completely stay within in-house under your roof and in your control. Beautiful. Folks, go check out Heinz. He's here on TikTok. He's on Spotify. He's on Instagram. He's on Twitter. He's uh, got a great YouTube channel as well. Uh, go check him out. And we are, Scott, we're about 33 minutes into this. And if you're watching this right now and you've made it to the 33 minute mark, leave a comment below that says 33 and uh, we'll show you some love. So thanks for watching this far. Uh, yeah, dude. Scott, let's, yeah, let's, let us know, guys. Be sure to join us every single Tuesday. Uh, Sam Card Takeover. We take over another awesome creator out there. Talk about where they're making their money, how they could be making more of it, right? Be sure to come back and check us out. Subscribe to the Sam Card YouTube channel here. And we will, uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys in the next one, man. Go check out Heinz. Go drink some tea. And everyone, practice some gratitude today. Later.